If you're having a little trouble understanding the concept of comparative advantage, take a look at what I've got here. So this is a super simple illustration of comparative advantage. Each one of these countries has a comparative advantage in doing something. Okay, so they all can produce the same four products. Um, we're just going to really keep some simple assumptions going here. We're going to say that each country can produce one product or one pro and one product only and it has to choose which one and that uh, one unit of oil is the same as one unit of corn which is the same as one unit of cotton and lumber. Alright, so each country has an advantage uh, in producing something. It can produce one thing better than another. Berry Nation does a better job producing cotton. Chuck Nation does a better job than producing oil compared to anything else that it can produce. Ellaville has a better does better producing corn. Its comparative advantage is in corn because they do better at that than anything else. In Watersville, their comparative advantage is in lumber. So if someone were to ask you which country has a comparative advantage in producing cotton, your answer would not be Chuck Nation, even though they can produce 700 units of cotton. Your answer would be Berry Nation because Berry Nation has a comparative advantage in growing one thing out of these four and that happens to be in cotton. So with comparative advantage we're looking within the country and we're looking at what its choices are, what its opportunities are, and uh, what it can do best given the resources that it has. And so if it's producing that one thing that means it cannot be producing any of the other things. Okay. Let's answer the questions below here. If these nations want to specialize in the production of a single product and then trade between themselves, what will each produce? So we need to find out what is the comparative advantage that Berry Nation has. Let's take a peek up here. Berry Nation does a better job in producing cotton than anything else. So we're going, oops, hang on. So we're going to write that in here, cotton. Chuck Nation does a better job producing oil than anything else. That's its comparative advantage. Ellaville, let's peak again. So Ellaville's comparative advantage is in producing corn. And Watersville is in producing lumber. So that's answering for each nation what do they have a comparative advantage in? Now the next question down below is going to ask which country from the four above has the comparative and, advan and absolute advantage in producing each product? So uh, with oil we know that uh, Chuck Nation has a comparative advantage in producing oil. Corn we know that Ellaville has the comparative advantage in that. Cotton, we know that Berry Nation has the comparative advantage there. And Lumber, we know that Watersville. Now how about the absolute advantage? We might have to go back up and take a look. We're just going to see which country can produce them more than the other countries of that product. So for oil, which country can produce the most oil? Well, it's Chuck Nation. Which country can produce the most corn? And that's once again Chuck Nation. Which country can produce the most cotton? Once again Chuck Nation. And lumber. Chuck Nation it is again. So how about that? Chuck Nation has the absolute advantage in producing everything. Chuck Chuck, Chuck, and Chuck. So that's absolute advantage and comparative advantage. Remember that comparative advantage is really what we want to be focusing on in this chapter. Absolute advantage is interesting and yes it's it matters but really you need to be focusing on comparative advantage.